Now we're ready to actually put some data into these data files. I will start by opening the artworks.csv file. For now, we will not worry about the works depicts file. Let's double click on this and it's going to open up in whatever the default program is for opening CSV files. On my computer, it's LibreOffice and that is my recommended software for working with CSV files. On many people who are Office users, this will default to Excel, which for this exercise is okay, but there are reasons why I prefer not to use Excel because it often messes around with CSV files and does things that I don't like. So I'm going to say, okay. And what we see is that the script that converted the configuration file created the same column headers that were specified in my simplified configuration file. So I said the artwork CSV file should have a column called instance of and a column called inventory number and a column called collection. And I can see here they are. Here's the instance of, here's inventory number. You'll notice that there are also some other columns that we did not specify. And these columns are generally ones to hold identifiers. And we'll talk a little bit more about what the importance is of that later. The way that Vanderbot works is that if there is no identifier for a particular uh, entity, then it's going to go ahead and create that. So in the case of items, if there's no QID, it'll actually create a new item. Since we are just practicing and we don't want to create actual fake artware items, we are going to use the QID for the test item number three. So test item number three has this QID. I will go ahead and copy that and paste it into the QID cell. Now, I don't really want to mess with the um, labels and descriptions. In fact, when I run Vanderbot, by default, it will not change the labels and descriptions of existing items unless I tell it to. So for now, we are just going to ignore the um, English and Spanish labels and description columns. Now I need to fill in the actual data that I want to add. So let's imagine that we are creating an item for a painting. So <clears throat> we are going to want to say that it is an instance of painting. So let's open up a new window here and let's find out what the QID is of a painting. Copy that and paste it in the instance of column. And then I'm gonna just make up some other things. So for inventory number, let's call it one, two, three, four, five. Reference URL, I'll just fake it with the instructions for this tutorial. For the collection of the inventory number, I'm going to put in Vanderbilt Fine Arts Gallery. Why not? And then let's put in some other things here. Uh, title of the painting, let's call it Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. I'm going to leave some of these other things empty. The height value, let's say that it is 10. And I don't know what the units are for centimeters. So let's look that up. And paste that in. And let's add one more thing. Let's put in an inception date. For dates, there are several columns. 
node ID, value, precision, and so forth. The only one that I need to fill in is the value. And if I use the correct format, the program will figure out the other things that it needs to know. So let's just say 2019 for the value. And I'm going to go ahead and click Save.